Good. <laughs> I can't believe that you're letting Hollywood do a six-part series about you. They're going to be nasty to you, big time. Well, I can't stop them if they want to, can I? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, I suppose if you take a step back and think about it, it's quite a story, isn't there? There's this bloke uh, that used to work in the City of London trading commodities, and he had an idea. He thought the whole political establishment in Britain had got it wrong, um, and so he launched a campaign to try and turn the country around by 180 degrees. For 25 years, they all said he was stark raving mad, and do you know what? In the end, he won. So <laughs> I guess that's the story. Yeah, um, no, no, that's uh, not the story. What Hollywood is going to say is that you are responsible for getting Trump elected. They will blame you. You know that's going to happen. Oh, of course. I mean, what they will say is that Brexit uh, began the revolution of 16 that led directly to Trump. Uh, do you know what? If they were to say that, I would be only too pleased because what, however much the liberal media uh, may hate Trump, the Democrats may hate Trump, and some of the rather snobby uh, you know, members of his own party may hate Trump, actually, he is a breath of fresh air in politics, in my view. OK, I've got to talk Brexit, because it seems like it's very, very yeah. slow going. It's way more than a year since the Brits have voted to leave. What's going on? Why is this big slowdown? Well, we've had this week uh, two positioning papers come out from the government, and I have to say, I'll sum it up, it is dither, delay, a lack of decisive leadership, and it's seeing our standing as a nation diminish in the world. We waited nine months before they triggered Article 50. We were told, but it's okay, because at the end of this two-year period, it'll all be sorted and we'll be out. And what we've heard this week is that we will stay post-Brexit in, inside some form of customs union with the European Union for at least a further two years. And what that means is that we won't be able to enact free trade deals with other parts of the world, America, of course, being top of my nice. list. So I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely upset yes, that the British government are messing that's around like that's this. That's a disaster, because that's a step back from Brexit. That's what it is. Yes, it's a step back from Brexit, but it also sends a message to the USA, Japan, Australia, Canada, all those, India, all those countries lining up saying, let's get closer trade relationships. And effectively, what we're saying is, none of this can come into play until at least 2022 mm. or 2023. So why should those countries take us seriously? You, get a, you better get back into politics there, Nigel, and uh, forget about Hollywood. <laughs>